In this example, I'm going to show you how you can add in a customized domain. So say for an example, you want to go to test.dev and this is where your application is sitting and you just want to be able to differentiate it from the rest of the local host domains. So you just go into your... This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. User panel here and go to add domain. And then this is where we can enter in test dev and notice that it gives us a path here so test dev uh, gets created there and also notice as well again I'm on a Windows machine and I don't have permission to edit my host file so I'm gonna have to update that later on some of you might not get this error so uh, again depending on what your options are within your system uh, you may or may not get this error but in this case we do have to go and enter in and update our host file in uh, in on our own uh, so let's just go ahead and add this domain so adding in the domain so now the domain is done I can go to manage domains and I can see that I've got test dev there if I refresh it uh, the reason that it's working is because I've already edited my hosts file so go over to your host file within your Windows uh, system so typically hosts on Windows system is located at the URL location, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, and then under Hosts. So go ahead, go ahead and open up that Hosts file, and from there you can edit and update where your name resolution goes within the DNS system. Uh, so by default we've got 127.0.0.1, uh, so localhost translates to that address. And now I've set up test dev, so this is what I've added in for my new customized domain of test dev. And we see that it's translating to 127.0.0.1, and our localhost is located, so this just says that this is the port that it's located at, so it's able to transfer that uh, system over. So now whenever I go to test dev, we see that it goes to this default directory here. If I open up that folder so we can go into manage domains, we see we've got a folder. So currently again, Windows machine, so program files, amps, www, and then I've got my folder there. So I've got my test dev there, and that corresponds with that same directory that's there. I can really easily create a brand new file there. Maybe we can just call it index, and then we can open that up and save it as index. So maybe we can do hello world, and then I'll just save this as index.html so that way that we do have a root index file on our directory so now if I go to here I can see that I've got hello world uh, so that means that basically that folder now is the one that translates into test.dev and of course we can add additional domains if needed and as many as we want all we'd have to do is follow that same process uh, updating our host file so that it transfers and it's able to read it within the DNS of the system uh, so another really, one of the main features of AMPS is all of the scripts. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how you can set up a script within AMPS and how easy it's going to be. So that's coming up in the next lesson.